Christmas. Seven? Eight, seven or eight. Oh my God, seven. Eight. Do you guys have all your shopping done? This year was supposed to be the big DIY year, but I didn't really make that many things. I made things, but gift-wise, not as much. So it's Monday and I'm fighting the urge to immediately say it's gonna be a very busy week or it's gonna be a very productive week because I don't think either of those sentiments are productive. I think it's better to consider my week full of obligations that I agreed to. Monday is a full client work day usually. One thing I definitely do need to address this week is my obsession with writing down new ideas and shuffling them around in my to-do lists and adding more to my list instead of addressing what already needs to be done. Every time I go to organize my to-do list, I'm going to instead take action on something. Also, this is kind of funny uh, and not funny. My hard drive is almost full. I won't really be vlogging or recording new video until I can clean some of this out. Christmas to me. cookies for friends and some of them are vegan so I'm trying a recipe substitution vegetable oil instead of butter and a warmed banana super ripe instead of an egg and also vegan chocolate chips so we'll see how they come out okay these are out of the oven and I actually think they look good they're brown because the chocolate mixed with the dough they actually look a lot better than the other ones because they ran out of brown sugar. introduce you to the ornaments that were made at Sarah's craftsmith party which was incredible. Erin found a champagne bottle and all the little baubles and gems that were on the table and made me this champagne bottle ornament which I mean incredible. <laughs> this is the stuff we hope and dream for when we throw a craftsmiths party. Erin also made me these little <laughs> eyeball ornaments which are so cute. They are genuinely the cutest thing. I will treasure these for all time. This year I did the tree gold, red, and white mostly. I guess I was just trying to capture some kind of minimalist but still festive and definitely not actually minimalist vibe, but maybe just a little more controlled color scheme. I have been looking at a lot of like Scandinavian design blogs and like just getting inspired by wooden ornaments. This guy's backwards. These are actually vintage. Um, this was the inspiration for a DIY project years ago. Oh man, I've had these things for probably eight years. There's this guy, there's this one, and somewhere there's also a star, oh there it is. And there's this perfect little bird. Oh, 
that to Georgie or Eduardo. Like, what happened? Well, Michelle's glitter nails, <laughs> which she was putting on in the car. You're gonna blame blame it on me that I'm not yeah. taking good photos. <laughs> So it's the day after Erin's party. It's really fun and sweet. She has a great apartment, lovely people there. However, the punch she made was so strong and didn't taste like there was any alcohol in it. So there's a lot to do today and I took an aspirin. Um, I'm not one to wallow in post-festivity hangover doom. It's gonna be a good day. Despite how I feel at this very moment, I also feel optimistic that today is gonna be a good day. I got some new dishwashing tools, a set of eco-friendly bamboo dish brushes, and I got the Mrs. Myers trio of holiday dish soap, which is how you know you're no longer a young person when that excites you. <laughs> um, it's like a pine scent, an orange scent, and a peppermint scent. Very festive. So the verdict is this guy definitely cleans well. He gets it done. My concerns are that dish soap kind of runs through the bristles when you put it on, so you'll have to be mindful not to let it just get rinsed out of the brush. It may scratch off some more sensitive dishes, like if there's like gold foiling or like some kind of print on it or paint on it um, of some kind. It might over time, because these are really hard bristles, scratch stuff off. I definitely think you need to buy the long bottle brush version of this too to clean cups and bottles, obviously. But as a surface cleaner, this is a badass little brush. And I think it will let me scrub things more effectively and then use a sponge occasionally to like wipe things down. <laughs> Here's what Crystal got me for Christmas. I love a Yankee candle. This is a super wintry, Christmassy scent. Can you smell it just by looking at it? I bet you can. Ooh. And then, she wrote me an adorable handwritten note, which honestly, better than a card. Love it. And, she got me one of these incredible um, video stabilizers for your phone. It's one of these bad boys. Woo! So that I can vlog. It needs battery. Oh, it is. It has battery. I have to learn all about it 
but um oh it's oh oh my god it's doing something <gasps> it's stabilizing as we speak it's working that is so crazy so anyway you put your phone in here and then when you do like selfie vlogging you um, don't have like shaky cam anyway this is a dope gift and I cannot wait to play with it everybody's sleeping all is peace and I'm still hanging round in a house that's filled with lights walking through a midnight wonderland the wise man keeping watch now So it's Thursday and I'm about to go to meet my mother at Grand Central. We're going to the plaza today for a Christmas tea. Mom and I started going to the plaza last year when we decided we wanted to try to do different things around the holidays because we were kind of doing the same few fun touristy things that we love like seeing the Rockettes and going to Bryant Park for ice skating and things like that and I thought why not do high tea at the plaza and after we went to the Palm Court, that was it. We were sold. So it is expensive, high tea for two. The bill comes in at just under 300, I think. Um, it's a prefix, so you get champagne, tea, and so much pastry and so many savory breakfast things or little mini sandwiches or whatever that you cannot possibly finish them all. They actually give you a very fancy little to-go box to take things home in. And it's super cute. I love going there and seeing their giant Christmas tree and like it's just a really fun experience if you're ever in new york and you want to do something extra extra special i definitely recommend that i think they have high tea all year round and during christmas they have christmas tea so you can go on their website to find all the details
the day before Christmas Eve and we are going upstate tonight. I just got the best present ever. Eduardo just gave me a record player and it's so cool. Now I can buy all the chill hop vinyls. I'm just looking forward to like having a cocktail party and playing vinyl records because that's what fancy people do. I have a ton of stuff I have to do before we go upstate tonight. I have to do errand running. I have a meeting online at 10.30. I have client work I have to finish. And I have to pack, I have to clean, I have to do all the things. I slept for like eight hours or more. And like, can you tell? I don't have that like fat, bloated face I get in the morning when I don't sleep. I'm gonna be starting a new skincare routine next month meaning next year, but I figured it's best to make that like a whole other video because it's gonna be a whole thing. I'm feeling very Christmassy. It's a bit meta, but one of the biggest things I have to do today is finish editing all these Vlogmas episodes because I'm way behind. So I'm gonna go do that. Oh, I also am a trader and I started playing The Sims 4. So sorry Sims 3, I just really wanted to try it. And it's so fast. It's so much faster than The Sims 3, I wanna cry. So this arrived in the mail and crucial moment, I am unwrapping a Christmas present that I bought for myself. One of a few that I bought for myself this year. Not that I've been particularly good this year, but I figured this gift will inspire me to be better. How? I don't know. What we have here is a silk belt. You know, I was thinking the silk belt was overpriced when I saw it on Etsy, but now that I'm feeling it, it's just so luxurious. It is ridiculous. You can tell even looking at it how lovely it is. And the main event, this is a vintage Christian Dior robe, which Dior made sportswear back in the day that wasn't really designer price point, but... This is a poly cotton robe. Again, it's not really designer. You could tell even by the way it's stitched that it's sportswear quality. Nonetheless, it's the perfect color. It's this lovely champagne color with black binding and this monogram pocket. It has these 
big swooping sleeves, which are just beautiful. Already obsessed with this robe. I think I could probably wear it over like sportswear, like over any outfit. I'm sort of in love with it already. Just like a random sock right there. I gotta work on this like staging, setting the stage for a clean video thing in 2020. Look at the background, like look at my desk. Oh my. I also got this, which is like, I don't even care if I never wear it anywhere. I'm just gonna wear it around the house. was Christmas and at the end of it all my apartment looked like an actual bomb had gone off and I started the process of New Year's decluttering but that is an entirely different video. On New Year's Day I finished up a DIY project that was very close to my heart that I've been alluding to all of December. I finished up that DIY project and delivered it and after I delivered it I ended up having, I don't think it was a panic attack really but like I had this anxiety that was so mind-numbingly strong. Um, which sucks on New Year's Eve to feel like you're in this bizarre existential spiral. I had to just kind of go home and lay down and I couldn't really cope, so that was not fun. Anyway, I got through it, survived it, and there's always a way to get to the bottom of it and there's always a way to calm down. After I sort of came back to reality, I just had a very chill, nice New Year's Eve at home. It was a nice way to wrap up a pretty eventful year. And um, it's been really fun documenting this whole holiday season and sharing it with you guys. So thank you for watching Vlogmas and it was fun. I hope next year I can be more organized about it. And maybe um, when I compare these videos to those videos, I'll just have reached a lot of more of my goals aesthetically and learn new editing techniques and I don't know, find ways to make it more fun. I hope you had a wonderful holiday season and I'll see you guys in 2020.